Hello? Is anyone there? I seek access to the tower. Uh, 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 yes, yes, someone is here. It is I, Norwell, a member of the Order of Tutelary Weasels, protectors of the tower. Why have you traveled here, stranger? I'm a researcher. I've come to study the tower and its significance to some ancient texts. Uh, well, I guess I'll assemble the council then, even though it's very late. Uh, th- thank you. God, it's so dark and late. I can wait until morning if it's more convenient. Mm, too late now. I've already started the council assembly process. Here they come. Oh, wow. They're getting very wet and they look extremely tired. Sorry. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It's just a huge hassle. <clears throat> I, Norwell, chairman of the Order of Tutelary Weasels, noble protectors of the tower, have called for this meeting of the Council of the Order of Tutelary Weasels to discuss the matter of, uh, what was your name again? Nyx. N-Y-X. The matter of Nyx, who has requested access to that in which we have dedicated our entire lives to protect, thus disrespecting our order and spitting on our very way of life. Shame! Shame! Shame. Yes, shame! I apologize. I've come to complete my study. I didn't mean to disrespect your order. Well, you have. You have gravely disrespected our... Should I leave then? Your request for early dismissal from council proceedings further insults this council and is denied. Okay. Tell me, Nyx, are you aware that this tower is possibly, but not definitively, extremely dangerous and bad? Yes, I am well versed in the scrolls that describe this tower as a weapon of unimaginable destruction. Then you understand why it must be protected every hour of every day by an order of weasels. I... Understand why it requires protection, yes. And you think it appropriate to circumvent that protection for the sake of anthropological study? I have, through my work, come to believe that the actual danger may not be with the tower itself, but instead something deep within the caverns below it. You may be guarding the wrong thing. I disagree. So you don't even want access to the tower, just the caverns? Uh, yes, technically. Well, thank you for making me call this uh, council meeting for nothing. We're the protectors of the tower. If your request falls outside the scope of tower-related matters, then it is of no concern to this council. Oh, great. Oh, okay. I'll head to the caverns then. I shall escort you. I keep my pottery projects down there, and I don't want you knocking anything over. If my research is correct, there should be a large door of sorts, directly below where the tower sits. You know, I've never actually been this deep into the caverns. Why is that? I saw an upsetting-looking bat down here once. Kind of put me off the whole place, to be honest. Oh! Oh! God, there it is! Oh my god, look at it! Oh, jeez. Tell me, that is not an upsetting-looking bat! Uh, yes, I suppose it is. I can't believe it's still here. That was years ago when I saw it. Go away! Get out of here, bat! Oh, I think I see the door. This way. How are you so unconcerned with this bat? This is it. It really exists. Jeez, Louise, why is there a door here? And why does the Order of Tutelary Weasels not know of this? You may need to expand the scope of your protection. Dang it. I'm gonna have to convene another council meeting. And you must leave at once. If what you say is true, then this is weasel business now. Hmm. I'll wait outside the tower, but I would really like to study the door and its markings if your order will allow it. We shall see. Now, be gone. Thank you. It is I, Norwell. Uh, why? I died. I'm a phantom now. What happened? Well, the council convened, and we all voted to open the door. What? We thought we'd find weapons to secure, but what was in there was alive, and it killed us, and we're all phantoms now. What? What? You should probably get out of here and warn the world that death is coming for everyone. See if they can do something about that. Yes, I'll, I'll get help. There might still be time. My god. Yep, uh, our bad. Ugh, what? Hey, do you hear that? Yeah, it must be some kind of emergency. Oh, hey, Charlie, didn't see you there. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Nothing, you know, just hanging with the boys. What boys? The boys! Oh my god, what is... why is there so much blood? We all come from blood, Charlie. Blood is divine and pure. Okay. So before you say a thing, Charlie, remember this blood is yours. 
What did that mean? Why is the blood mine? Hey, we looked into the emergency. It seems pretty serious. Seems like the kind of thing we should really, uh, check out. You tried to kill me a week ago. I'm not going anywhere with you. Charlie, my sweet stallion, my magnificent horse angel. I know we have some trust issues, and that's both our faults. You literally tried to murder me. Why would we do that, Charlie? That doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. See, it doesn't make sense, Charlie. Ugh. Listen, we don't have much time. The Webawongle has been released. No, not the Webawonk. Yes, the mighty Webwack back again. The what? The Wackwonk. It's coming for us all. And if you've ever been witness to a wack a -wang attack, you know it's no joke. Ah. It'll be like that everywhere soon if we don't stop them. I just want you to know, before you force me along, that I do not believe one single word of this nonsense. Even wack a -wong? Yes, especially that. Well, you know what? You're wack a -wrong. Now let's go on an adventure and change our lives forever. Ah. Ugh. Oh, no. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. That's me. All of your thoughts and feelings are wrong. Oh, Charlie the Unicorn. Have a seat. Please make yourself at home. Charlie the Unicorn. What are you doing inside of my house? Uh, everyone is smiling, but you've got a frown. Everyone is happy, and you're feeling down. That means the problem is inside your head. Or maybe the issue is your heart is dead. I don't know how to deal with you. Charlie the Unicorn, please come in, sit anywhere you'd like. Charlie the Unicorn, not the good chair, get off of it, you fool. Happiness is easy and quick to obtain. Sadness is just failure by some other name. If you let misery in, it will spread. Which means it's your fault every time you feel dread. Just stop feeling dread, so there can be good times ahead. Well, thank you for the advice. Oh, is this blood also mine? I don't know. Welcome to Magic City. City of Magic. Hi, I'm Mayor Slav. That's right, that's Slav. Before I was the humble mayor of this great city, I was the humble CEO of Slav Industries, the world's most successful generalized intermediary service, providing employment for hundreds of thousands of low-income workers, but providing those same workers to hundreds of thousands of labor-seeking customers, in combining... Welcome, employer, employee. Please state your appointment authorization code. Oh, uh... Slav yourself. Code accepted. Welcome, Nix and YX. When I started Slav Industries, they said to me, Slav, how can you expect to build a successful company that doesn't technically do anything? Well, they forgot about you. They forgot about all your hard work. They forgot the sense of community that arises when you're both employee and employer. You sell your labor, and you hire the labor of your friends, all with the help of Papa Slav. And now that Slav Industries and our great city are one entity, that process is easier than ever. So as both your mayor and your benefactor, let me just say, I'm very busy. You have three minutes. Thank you for meeting with me, Mayor Slav. Yes, well, I received your letter and found it quite sensational. The thing that was unleashed, I believe it may travel here to Magic City. City of Magic? Uh, what? The city's name is Magic City, colon, City of Magic. Oh. I'm the mayor. These things are important. Anyway, I believe the being is a sort of magic siphon, gaining power from Quick those Quick question. Things. Sorry to interrupt. Can we harness this siphon? No. I mean for money, not evil. Money. No. Go on. Your city has the highest concentration of magical beings in the world. If I were looking for more magic to absorb, this would be the first place I'd hit. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. In fact, I think they've already arrived. Really? When? A few hours ago. They murdered me. They what? They murdered me, and now they're puppeteering my dead body to speak to you. Huh. Yes, it's true. I'm a corpse puppet. It's gross, but electable. What do you want? Oh, you've already got that all figured out, but it won't matter. Did you know the mayor threw your letter in the garbage? Look, there's a banana peel on it. That's hilarious. Are you going to kill me? No, no, not you. Not yet. I want you to watch everything fall apart, including... Oh, God. Charlie. 
Charlie. Are you done washing all that blood off your body? No. There was a lot of blood. Yes, there was a lot of blood. All over my body. Lot of blood. Are you done now, Charlie? Ugh. Whatever, it's good enough. Yeah! Deep breaths, Charlie. It's okay that you're freaking out. You don't know where you're going. You're traveling with murderers on your way to, best case scenario, another murderer. Also, you haven't eaten today. At what point does this all stop happening? God, I could go for an apple or something. It's hard to think, I'm so hungry. All right, well, gotta open your eyes at some point, Charlie. Gotta continue living this nightmare. Ugh. Is this rainbow of a dining car? Charlie, look! It's a lovely swan! Ah! Uh, uh, what a big, beautiful boy! Sure. Oh my! It's a sensuous golden eagle! Strong. Wow, that is a bird! Strong. Look at those luscious beak lips! Grazie. An emu! What a rare treat! <laughs> What's that big old boy doing up here? <laughs> you don't have to kiss me. All right. Whoa, is that the dreaded condor? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. Be careful with this spicy girl. She might... She might what? Why did everything stop? Is this what she might do? Charlie, my love, my sweet. Starfish, you're looking awful. Just really bad. How are you still alive? You need magic to survive what is to come. Okay. I found this enchanted mollusk, the last of its kind. You must absorb it, Charlie. Absorb it, and mollusk magic is yours. I would rather not do that. The mollusk and you must merge, Charlie. You must fuse together like colliding stars. Oh, 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 yuck. Yes, the mollusk is now part of you forever, Charlie. You will never be rid of it. Farewell, we shall meet again. I love you more than ever. Yeah, see ya. Give you a big old spicy kiss. Now you're married, and you're gonna have a baby! Oh, it's you. Yes, and you... I'm not waiting for you or anything. I'm just dead and lost. How goes the world? Magic City has fallen. Magic City, City of Magic has fallen? Bleak news indeed. Nearly everyone there is dead. Or a dead flesh puppet. I feel like I don't actually want to hear about this. That's fine. I don't think I want to talk about it. How'd you get a keyboard? I was crying in the woods and accidentally scared an old musician to death. His gear followed him into the afterlife, and in the confusion of it all, I just sort of yoinked it. Oh. I've been going through a bit of a crisis. I can understand that. Would you like to hear a song? Full disclosure, I'm not very good and I don't handle criticism well. Sure, why not? <clears throat> I bought myself a coat. A brand new shiny coat just the other day. I went into the shop and saw this big coat hanging there. And they looked at me with their smooth coat body and said, I've led a hard life as a coat. I'm not actually new, I'm an old coat. If I look new, it's because we are in love. That's right, you and me. We're in love, you and a coat, me. Life can be terrible when you're a coat. That's me, I'm a coat and stuff spirit. But the winds they're changing, you're taking me home to a brand new life, a better life. I love you. I still need a coat. A normal, lifeless coat, one for me to wear. I love my coat husband. Yes, that's right, we got married, but still. I also need a regular coat for inclement weather. It can be hard when you're a coat, and your husband is cold and is no coat, and you'd let him wear you around if you could, but you actually can't, because of the terms of the witch curse that brought you to life, which can be terrible without a coat. Like me, I'm a coat, but not one he can wear. So the journey continues, the journey called marriage, and the journey called shopping for some clothing. The moral of this story is we're married, and we kiss a ghost and a coat, and it's fine, it's great. Get out of here if you don't like it. We do other stuff, too, that I'm not going to talk about, but that's it. That's the song. That was lovely, Norwell, and, uh... I'm a coat. I don't have a name. Well, the song was lovely. Thank you. Oh, hey, Magic City, City of Magic fell. You know anyone there? 
My father is dead. Hey, Charlie? Yeah? How can you be sure that you are you? Excuse me? Uh... understand the question. How can you be certain you aren't someone else? I don't know, because I like my memories and stuff. Do you remember the snowman? Uh, y yeah. They gave it your horn. They gave it your kidney. What else did they give it? What are you saying? The sad gray unicorn known as Charlie died out in the snow. The snowman was given Charlie's memories and continued on in his place. What? No, that's... It's all been the snowman since then. It's all been the snowman. Wait a minute, that's the, the choo-choo show. That's before I even saw the snowman. Oh, yeah, my bad. Welcome. Sea City, City of the Sea awaits. Just go in the tube. Just go in the tube. Just go in the tube. Welcome, welcome. Sea City, City of the Sea awaits. Just go in the tube. Go in the tube, please. Welcome. Please, please, please. Just go in the tube. Just go in the tube. Just go in the tube, please. All right. Welcome, Nix and YX. I am Suzanix, Empress of Sea City, City of the Sea. It's just Nix. Excuse me? My name is Nix. Nick? Uh, no, Nix, N-Y-X. Nix, N-Y-X. Have you been enjoying our visitor center? We make sure to keep it stocked with all the amenities landwalkers love, like bottled water, paper, Little fires. It's lovely, but I'm afraid I come here on rather urgent business. Oh my, well by all means, urge away. I'm here to warn you about a powerful destructive being that has been set loose upon the world. Are you talking about the spinning cube thing? Uh, yes. Oh, they've already been here, and it's all sorted. I, I can't believe it. How? They were perfectly reasonable. They gave me a hundred thousand gold coins, and the promise not to attack Sea City, City of the Sea, for ten years, in exchange for all our geographic and surveillance data. Ah. Uh, it's win-win, baby. Win-win. What happens in ten years? We die, I guess. But that's in ten years. Plenty of time to spend all that gold. I don't even know how to begin. Where'd you go? You didn't even take a little fire with you. Oh, wow, look, Charlie. Uh... It's the temple! Blah, 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 blah. What, uh, what sort of temple? The temple of the cat! Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Any cat in particular? I guess I'm gonna meet the cat. Let me tell you about the fateful day a unicorn named Charlie arrived in a big fuzzy temple. A temple so out of the way that no map I've seen has ever even drawn it. In a state of befuddlement, he clip clop clip towards a fuzzy pantheon when suddenly a figure all shrouded in shadow and intrigue opened up their eyes and said, Inside the temple by a figure who he thought might very well be the one and only wonderful cat, as previously mentioned in the story. Well, as he clip clop clipped his way through the fuzzy temple chamber room, there was a flash of color, then a cat appeared right before his eyes, and with a big cat smile, they said, So 
much of her but as he looked at that magical cat and as he looked way back on his own quite miserable catless life he knew he'd be clip clop clipping the rest of his days at the temple of the cat and his unicorn hair has been covered in cat hair ever since all done no returns be well meow good work charlie you discovered the saboteur i did was it the cat no charlie it was Oh, uh, Charlie, honey bun, I bring more magic for you to consume. Is it gross magic? It's mucus from the enchanted flesh orb. Mucus from the enchanted flesh orb. Yes, my lamb, it's the most powerful mucus in the world. You know what? Sure, whatever, toss it in me. Thank you, Charlie. You shall become mighty with mucus magic. Wow, that feels terrible. I will see you again soon, my heavenly dove. See you later, starfish. Me, I'm the saboteur. <gasps> Jacques. Wait, what were we talking about? I've secretly been working for the Webadab. How could you? We had a life together. Are you going to kill me now, or can I go home? But I've learned something on this trip. I've learned that the Web Web is no good. <laughs> Not in this economy. No good. <laughs> Financially speaking, I'm very tired. Begin to expl- uh, I've got them. The researchers here in the Bugnasium. Don't tell them about the conspiracy. Conspiracy? Surface dwellers aren't supposed to know this, but space is full of bugs, and we quietly run the world. Well, that was a secret. The time for secrets is in the toilet, Zoopy. <laughs> Dang, Zimmy's down. What's happening? The glowing cube thing is killing us. Us. The bugs. <laughs> There goes Thrax. What do you know about the cube? Well, we know it can reach space. That's something we didn't know a half hour ago. Have you just been watching it kill people? I mean, we didn't like that it was killing people. We didn't want to interfere because it was scary. And there goes Buggy, the bug. Why have you brought me here? Ah, uh, dang, the cube's here. Before I die, don't tell the researcher about the owls. What are you not supposed to tell me about the owls? Oh, uh, owls are actually bugs. Ah, uh, they're here too. I always knew this day would come. I just kind of hoped I would get strangled to death. I guess beggars can't be choosers when it comes to getting murdered. Yep. All right, goodbye, everyone. Look, now that most of my people are dead, we need to come up with a plan to fight this darn thing. Owls are bugs? Yeah, they look a little like birds, but actually they're bugs. But that is not important right now. Okay. You're the researcher who was at the tower when that cube was released, right? How do you know about that? Owls. Ah. Yes, that was me. Well, then I'm ordaining you head research bug, because our researchers got all... I mean, that's them all around us. You can see. We should head to the tower where this all started. I never finished my research, and I think it's important that I do. Sure, why not? Let me just put some of these dead bodies in the garbage first. Oh my god, what? Whoa. Well, would you look at that? Are they all right? Uh, sometimes heads come off. Okay. Uh. That's a lot of goo. A lot of goo. Why is that happening? Why does anything happen? Hmm. Oh, God. See, it's all fine. Are you okay? You realize you don't need to go to these lengths to make me uncomfortable. I'm always uncomfortable. Close your eyes, Charlie. Why? Is something gonna happen? Yes, something wonderful. Close your eyes. Uh, all right. I want you to picture a circle. Can you do that for me? Sure. Now I want you to imagine that circle's in a beautiful meadow. Why not? You're feeling very relaxed here in this meadow. With your beautiful blue circle. The circle's supposed to be blue. Ah, uh, what? You didn't tell me to picture a blue circle. It should be blue, Charlie. Well, it's not. What color is the circle? It's just white. Oh, no, Charlie! Get out of there! What? Get out of there, Charlie! Whoa, 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 there's something in the circle. Charlie, open your eyes! I... I can't. Why can't I open them? No! I'm so sorry! It's getting closer. What do I do? I don't know! This wasn't supposed to happen! Oh, God! Oh, God! Charlie! Charlie, I just realized something! What? You're looking at my butt! Hey, I got some boba. Well, I've just seen some things. What do you mean? I went looking for food and found a walk-in freezer full of sliced-up voles. Oh, jeez. 
I'm not going to deny that we indulged in forbidden pleasures of the flesh. I only ask that you consider the context. What's the context? We were very hungry, and voles are easy to deceive. Hmm. Yep. You must be Norwell. I must be, yes. What are you two doing here? Bug business, which is none of your weasel business. What? What does that red wheel do? You know what? I have no idea. We turned it once, and the tower made sounds, so we all picky swore to never touch it again. Why? Are you thinking of uh, touching it? The cube was locked away below this tower. Could the tower be what trapped it? Hmm. You mean, what if the weasels were right all along? No. It found us. We're out of time. Oh, dang. Okay. I'll try to buy you a few minutes by buzzing around or something. Thank you, Krell. There we go. Those are the sounds. Terrible. Yucky. Hey, Nix. Hey, look up here for a sec. Your bug friend is dead already. I killed him instantly without even thinking about it. Why am I still here? I don't want to watch this. I guess I'm protector of the tower. I should probably stay, right? Yeah. Yeah, stay. You've done a great job so far, buddy. Hey, you killed me. You can't razz me, too. That sounds like loser talk. I see you've turned the tower on for some reason. Do you know what it does? I have a hope. Okay, so you don't. Great. Well, get ready. Whoa, hey! I got a little friend now. I knew it! Never break a pinky swear! Hey, you should grab a body too! Then we can kiss! I don't understand! That's a portal to where I was born! Here, I'll show you! <sighs> uh, see you later! So, I'm not 100% sure, but I think if I push you into the portal, you'll explode and die. That could be funny. But why? Uh, that's a big question. Why do we find anything funny? What is a humor? I guess we'll never know. Well, goodbye, Nix. I love you. Wait, wait, wait! Here, Charlie. Our magical journey's at an end. Wow, it's uh, very nice. It's time for you to meet the Wabawoo! Charlie! Hey, you're here to see the Wabawoo? Here is the last of the magic I could find. It's a foot, Charlie. There's no other way to put it. It's a magical foot. Yep, that's a foot, all right. And now, it's my foot. Come, there is someone you must meet. Is it the Wooboo? What? Never mind. Spirit, I have returned! Oh, great. This one isn't dead already. He's alive and beautiful, and I love him with all my heart. Is he magic? Who are you? A ghost. Are you magic? I have a magical foot inside me, and some mucus. And a mollusk. That's probably not enough, but we'll give it a shot. Okay. Give what a shot? Starfish, you've done very well. I'm gonna need to end your enchantment now. As it must be. Goodbye, my honeysuckle. Goodbye. What? I'm going to send you through a portal. My current theory is you need to be sufficiently magic to survive entry. If you're not magic enough, your body will cause an energy cascade. Uh... The last person only absorbed one magical item, so you're three times less likely to explode. If my theory is correct, which it probably isn't, I'm sorry. Are you the Weebo-Wom? The what? The other unicorn said I needed to come here to stop the W-something. They aren't unicorns. They're corpses puppeted by demons. What? Really? That is... I'm really upset by that. It's time to go. At least if the portal kills you, your body won't be used for musical numbers or whatever it is they're up to. Wait, wait, what's in the portal? What do I do in there? I don't know. It took me forever just to open it again. I can't have all the answers. Right, right. Was that you? No. What? Again? Just breathe, Charlie. Come on. Ah. Uh well, bye, Charlie. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry if this is bad. We're certainly gonna find out. You think he'll turn into meat chunks or meat dust? Oh god, oh god, oh god! Huh. In the night, in the night, we gave barely a fight and all fell.
When the blight, when the blight hit with all of its might, the world fell down. All went down. When I see that booty, baby, weasel bodies out of sight. Wanna take a bite? Got an appetite for all that fuzzy wuzzy love? Feeling heat like Mount St. Helens, hun I'm a sitting duck who's been thunderstruck Baby, getting razzle-dazzled by that furry butt Maybe back it up, back it up In the night, in the night As we cowered in fright We all fell down Let me get a taste, boy I fell down Weasel booty gives me joy Do you hear that? Want me to check it out? Yeah, no problem. Woo! Hey! Let's go on an adventure! You're flying. You won't believe who I met. It's the dreaded letter Y! <laughs> we gotta get out of here! Who are you? Who are you? Alright, alright. Let's find someone else. Should we bring Y? Eh, later. Whoa, it's another unicorn. Wake up, little baby. Uh, oh, hello. Hey, you wanna go on an adventure? An adventure? Uh, yeah, okay. Been a while since I've even seen anyone. Wow. I'm Charlie, by the way. Charlie! 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 Yeah, that's me. Weird. Very weird. Hey, you're gonna wake up those little devils and then more of them are gonna get out. Are you who keeps opening the portal? Uh, no. I don't think so. How'd you even get in here? This place is secure. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? I'm Charlie the Unicorn, the greatest sorcerer in the world and CEO of Charlie Technologies. I don't know what most of that means, but my name is Charlie too, and I'm also a unicorn. Mm. I think I found a loophole in my security system. Where am I? What is this place? It used to be my office until those hooligans mutinied. Hooligans? Chaos spirits, fairies, demons, whatever you want to call them. You know who's the best customer in the world? I do not. The military. You know what's the most lucrative product in the world? I also do not know that. Labor. Especially when the laborer isn't protected by any labor laws. Like chaos spirits. I'm not following any of this. I thought, why not round up those crafty little freaks? and give them something useful to do. They're not very powerful on their own, but with the might of capital backing, now you're getting somewhere. So I trapped them in blocks of iron, slapped my patented magic siphoning spell on the blocks, and made a self-sustaining weapon that'll last forever. And how did that work out? One of them killed me and took my magic. It was an oversight, I admit, but the profit potential on this, it was through the roof. I'd like to go home if possible. Are you magic? Uh, yes. We can shut this project down for good. It's not working, I can admit that. I'm gonna link you up to my Mindscape Realizer. Mindscape Realizer. Got a trademark on that name, it's gonna be a big deal. What is a Mindscape Realizer? Mindscape Realizer. It's a sort of, uh, well, it's another magic siphon. I work mostly in siphons. But I got this one hooked up to the project's reappropriation process. So what do I do? Not much, though it works best if you're thinking positive thoughts. Easier to grab your magic that way. So think happy. I think you got the wrong guy for this. The user experience is very intuitive, top-notch stuff. It'll all come naturally to you. Okay. Get ready to mind stay. See ya, Charlie. Happy thoughts, best not to look around Charlie the Unicorn Now hold still while somebody stabs you in the gut Everyone is smiling and I've got a frown But why should I smile as they toss me around? I'm told the issue is inside my head As they make a world that is withered and dead 
Oh God, I'm getting the wrong kind of readings, Charlie. I said happy thoughts. This isn't gonna work if you're so angry. You're making the building shake. It shouldn't do that. Happy thoughts, Charlie. Come on. Smiling, but you've got a frown. Charlie the unicorn. Is it over? I think it might be over. Yes. Okay, that, uh, wasn't too bad. Whoa, wait, is that me? Why is my face there? What did I do? Well done, Charlie. Ah, uh, hello. How wonderful it is to finally greet you in my true form. I am Startar, first turned into a wheel by a misguided sorcerer and then into a starfish by a traumatized ghost. That's quite a life you've had. Ha, huh, yes. Although it is nothing compared to the life that still awaits. You and I shall- <laughs> That was a perfectly natural heart attack, Charlie. Oh. It seems as if our time together has been cut tragically short. That sucks. Think of me when you chance to gaze upon the heavens at night. I will be staring back upon your beautiful body from the stars. Okay. How is this, my sweet? You're a bit low. How about this? Perfect. <laughs> 